From the Phoenix Convention Center in Phoenix, Arizona, it's The Q at the Grace Hopper Celebration of Women in Computing. Here is your host, Jeff Frick. Hi, welcome. I'm Jeff Frick, and we are on the ground in Phoenix, Arizona at the Anita Borg Grace Hopper um, Celebration of Women in Computing event, a huge event that we didn't know about until re recently. Over 8,000 attendees here really celebrating women in technology. It's an education event. They've got um, a job fair. It really kind of covers the gamut. Satya Nadella just finished his keynote upstairs, and so we are here. We're going to talk to some, some folks here, kind of get an update of what's going on, and we're really happy to have our first guest, Cheryl Cook, VP of Channel from Dell. Welcome. Great. Thank you, Jeff. Happy to be here. So it just begs the question, what are you doing here uh, personally as well as representing Dell? Sure. No, I'm happy to. This is a fabulous event, and I'm just incredibly impressed with the participation here, both in quantity. I think they've doubled their audience uh, since the last event. There's over 8,000 people here, as you said. Right, right. And just the real cross-section of both students and aspiring engineers as well as professionals who are really taking the networking opportunity, job fair and recruiting, as you said. It's just a fabulous forum. Yeah, so we, we cover a lot of uh, tech shows, as you know, we go out, and there seems to be usually a woman track now, whether that's a networking breakfast, a networking lunch, uh, a specific session so it definitely seems to be gaining traction so I wonder if you could tell us about if you have any formal types of programs at Dell that are kind of in support of this type sure, of initiative. Absolutely I think the um, the agenda is an important one and keeping the discussion and the conversation uh, front and center I think is kind of all of our responsibility and obligation and in Dell we're certainly very mindful of diversity and inclusion and specifically just trying to create opportunities for our up-and-coming top talent and women into more senior roles. So we have certainly our outreach program with our DWEN, which is Dell Women Entrepreneur Network, okay. which is really created to create that community and networking opportunity for entrepreneurs and women who are starting unique businesses and opportunities to really get connected with the broader community. Uh, we also are very active with uh, the Catalyst Group. Uh, both Michael Dell and Karen Quinto sit on that board and we're the first uh, IT company in the industry to really advocate men's roles in creating the opportunity and sponsorship and advocacy for women in roles. So we have MARC, which is Men Advocating Real Change, and we have a pilot initiative in Dell, uh, where we've solicited some of our top male leaders to really help brainstorm ideas and ways that we can really get people more involved. Now that's interesting, because they, they actually had a male allies panel here, I saw, on the agenda. So, you know, being inclusive, really, it's everyone kind of pulling the rope in the same direction and making some progress. So Dell World is coming up shortly, so is there anything specific going on at Dell World that people should know about? Sure, absolutely. We're delighted. We have our big customer event, which is in November in Austin, and we have a couple sessions running that are really aimed at closing the gap on diversity and inclusion in IT, where we're really going to have some sessions and really talk about some of the industry research, what some of the statistics and data show, what are some of the ideas and uh, actions and programs that we have underway, and really just network with our customers and CIOs about the role we all play. And we can all learn from each other on really kind of advancing the, uh, the cause and the agenda. So I want to shift gears a little bit and get a little bit more personal about your specific <laughs> journey, because I think, you know, obviously, a big part of this whole thing is mentorship and, and having uh, people that the young girls and young women can look up to kind of as role models and, and emulate and, and follow their path, quite mm -hmm. frankly. And you said before we came on air, you have a computer science background, correct? I do. I but do. now you're on the business side of the house, which often yeah. we see it kind of flip the other way. So right. I wonder if you can talk about your experience. You know, you're at a big tech company sure. with a computer science degree. I imagine the, the ratio in your classes, where'd you go to school? Yeah, I'm a, I'm a Florida Gator. A Florida so Gator, I'm okay. a computer science grad from uh, University of Florida. And you're right. There were very few women in my class, in my graduating class when I graduated, but you know, I always enjoyed the math and the stimulation of
of the technology, the dynamic pace of technology, and started on the technology, uh, you know, support side and pre-sales engineering, but quickly moved into sales. So the gift of gab and relationship management and problem solving and trying to really bring solutions uh, to customers and have just, you know, really enjoyed more the business aspect of understanding what the technology is, but most importantly, how you can apply it to the business problems. Now, the other thing we, we talked to some people on this topic is kind of when, you know, when uh, girls should kind of know, when really the focus, and, and clearly a lot of people say college is, is too late. So, you know, when did you kind of know that you had either an aptitude, an enjoyment, a love, you know, whatever that drew you to end up being a computer yeah. science uh, degree in college. It's not always a well thought out plan. Well, that's you know? true, right, But right. yeah, absolutely. It's always a journey, I, right? I always had an affinity for math, so okay. I was very uh, good at math, so that came a little easier to me. Uh, my father was in the space program, so he was an engineer, so I had a little bit of that influence, I think. And, you know, I was motivated to really go into new, and at the time that I went into school, computer science was really just emerging and coming off the mainframe into client server technologies, and that's where I started. So, Great. Yeah. So I give you the last. I give you the last word before we sign off. What tips or advice would you give to, um, I guess, young women? Uh, who are potentially watching this about their career in tech? No, I absolutely would follow your passion. You know, if you have a love for math and problem solving, there is numerous creative uh, career opportunities for you. So I would say stay committed, stick to your passion, and absolutely raise your hand for advice to, uh, there are many people that want to help. So just raise your hand and seek advice and ask, ask for support. Well, Cheryl, thanks for stopping by. Again, Cheryl got a touch of a cold, so we, uh, <laughs> we appreciate her, you know, jumping in on short notice and, and sharing some advice with our audience. So again, Jeff Frick, we're here on the ground in Phoenix uh, at the Phoenix Convention Center at the Borg Institute, Grace Hopper Celebration in Women Computing. We'll be right back.